Hi, today we'll be commissioning the Mojave Energy Storage System model OGH ESS 8015A. Commissioning procedure is based on Mojave's Quick Start Guide, Mojave's ESS Planning Guide, and Operator's Manual Commissioning Section. Electrical equipment can pose a shock hazard. Ensure to utilize insulated tools, remove wearable metals, and wear protective gear. Note, ensure no flammable liquids are stored around the equipment and area is clear of debris. All right, well, let's get started. Step one, pre-startup procedure. Double check all wiring connections in the battery and inverter's wiring compartment are in place and torqued to specifications. With a digital voltmeter, ensure an AC neutral to ground bond is in place by checking for continuity between the neutral and grounding bus bar. Ensure a DC negative to ground bond is in place by checking for continuity between the negative and grounding bus bar. Inspect the wiring compartment in the battery and inverter and ensure no debris or tools were left inside. Ensure all AC circuits in the protective loads panel are in the off position. Ensure all AC input feeds to the inverter's wiring compartment are disconnected at each source. Recheck all three battery connections, including inverter's grounding, and BMS CAN communications cable are secured, torque, and have proper color coordination and polarity. Note, reverse polarity will cause equipment damage. Once verified, replace all battery covers. Start with the wiring compartment's interior cover. Insert the cover into the bottom edge and secure it into the side slots. Then place the exterior cover. Secure both covers using N5 screws and washers using a 5mm hex allen driver. Replace the bottom two exterior covers using the supplied hex screws. Step 2. Mojave ESS Energize. Turn on the 250 amp battery breaker and press the on off button. Check the battery LED indicator to ensure that it illuminates blue. Then check the inverter's LED indicator to ensure it flashes blue and once powered up, it will become solid. Step 3. Accessing the user interface. Once the inverter is powered up, it will automatically stream its own local Wi-Fi hotspot. It does not require an internet connection to access its UI. Using a smart device, open the Wi-Fi settings and look for a Mojave network. Network name incorporates part of the inverter's serial number. Select the Mojave network. When prompted for a password, enter the last eight digits of the inverter's unique serial number, which can be located near the Wi-Fi antenna. In the new browser window, enter the inverter's IP address, 192.168.2.2. This opens the UI. Upon initial UI access, an overlay will appear that walks you through the screens and options by clicking next, or you may choose to skip. From the actions view, set the grid input to drop and set the inverter to on. Right after, you will hear a relay click. Step four, verify sources. Using a voltmeter, verify L1 and L2 to neutral, read 120 volts AC on the upper terminals of the load breaker. Then across both terminals, read 240 volts AC. Turn on the load breaker. Then again, verify 120 volts AC and 240 volts AC on the lower terminals of the breaker. From the protected loads panel, turn on circuits and test loads. Turn on the grid connection at the main panel. Verify 120 volts AC on grid L1 and L2 to neutral from the lower terminals of the grid breaker. Then across both terminals read 240 volts AC. Open the online UI. In the actions view, set the grid input to use. 
Turn on the grid breaker. Wait for the programmed connection delay to elapse. Once the inverter connects, the UI grid icon will turn green. Test the pass-through transferred L1 and L2 output voltage from the top of the load breaker. If a generator is installed, and to test interaction, turn off the grid input breaker. Start the generator manually. From the UI, set the gen input to use. Repeat voltage checks. Once verified, stop the generator. Then again, turn on the grid breaker and allow the Mojave inverter to connect. Note, due to shipping regulations, the Mojave ESS battery ships with a state of charge of 30% or less. Upon connection to a grid and or available solar energy, the Mojave ESS will initiate a charge cycle. From the UI, go to the battery tab and monitor the charge cycle. Once the tests are complete, Replace the wiring compartments dead front by inserting the bottom tabs into the chassis slots, then replace the two top screws to secure it. Replace the compartments door by pulling the pins inward, and once in place, release the pins. Finally, replace the raceway cover. From one side, Insert the tab into the bracket slot, then press inward and release. Alright, well this concludes the commissioning of the Mojave ESS. For more information on the commissioning process, please refer to the documents linked below. Alright, well thank you for watching and see you next time.